is it? We're not talking, we're getting ready for this. We are. <laughs> Look, we have got. We've got, I'll tell you what we've got right now. We've got the person. We've got the person right here who we thought was going to win the IW Women's Championship last night in Middle King. She had carried it for long enough, but she didn't get it, as we can see. Yeah, as we can see right now, Hardy Hood, Hayley J, took the title from the lady who thought she was the rival champion. That angry here at her face, Ricky. She doesn't look happy at all. I mean, I don't blame her necessarily because she's not champion. For the first time, she hasn't had the belt since we first re unveiled it. You have to win it. To be in it, you've got to win it. And this is a number one contenders match. I mean, I think you've done right by her, essentially. You've given her another opportunity. Well, she was 3 0 before, before we walked into Parade of Champions, and she's now 3 1. And she has got. has got Ricky, one of the most exciting up and coming wrestlers in the UK right now, making waves across promotions, making her debut for us at the Black Box. As Nelson said, that's radioactive Sapphire Reed. And that is a hell of a moment, a hell of an opportunity for Sapphire Reed to come in on her first match here and possibly get herself a world title opportunity. Like you've always said about IWN, it is the land of opportunity. It's the right? land of opportunity, and we do invite the absolute finest professional wrestlers across the world. We got someone from France, a regular for us, and someone from the local. Yeah, Southeast London. Exactly. Probably took about 55 minutes to go today. Not too far, is it? Not too bad. 8:21. It's a nightmare sometimes on a Friday. Yeah, I can imagine. And it is a Friday. It is. Telling her to lay down. Oh, Sapphire. She's now. Well, Kira Kamira completely disrespecting Sapphire Reed there. Completely disrespecting saying lay down because I've known you since you were first training. How old is this Sapphire Reed? Give me some stats. Give me some stats. That's a very formal request. She's 20 years old. She is from South East London. Got about five foot four, six years in the business. Trained by the Red Pro School in London. So just give a bit of experience to Kira. Pints roughly the same. Kira the attitude certainly not the same. No, no, Kira is undefeated. I was going to say the exact same thing. She's been undefeated, so this has been happy hunting ground. First time in Milton Keynes. I thought she's got her first blemish. She's going to look to keep that Hastings streak going. If she does, she will possibly get a crack at the idea of women's champion in the future, who at the moment, as we have said and seen already, Hollywood Hayley J, who will be defending later on in this broadcast. Where is Kira Kamir is leaving? Well, she's leaving. Which she goes? Oh, it was a mistake oh, by Kira Kamir. Oh my goodness! She was up in the drop zone, Billy. She was not expecting no, that. No, she wasn't. I thought she was. Uh, thought she was going to leave. She says she's already the number one contender and doesn't want to feel she has to earn her way. But I'm afraid she does. Do you think, Ricky? The after effects of Parade of Champions will be playing on Kira Kamira tonight. Well, you saw how angry she was when she came out. Well, look at the ferocity she just put Sophia Reed into that ring post with. She's clearly not happy at all. She doesn't even feel she should be in this contest. She feels like this should be a basic walkover and she should be back in the title hunt already as it is. Well, as we know, and she shouldn't be obviously. these matches were set before Parade of Champions. Whoever walked out of that belt was going to face, like for example, tonight, Safari could have had a IW Women's Championship match. But Kira was, unfortunately, unsuccessful. So, so Kira Kamira could have won, she'd have won, but she didn't. She, she and she did, She cost it herself. You were there with me. She cost herself. You think? Yeah, she did. She was trying to do it underhandedly. And it cost her. Hollywood Haley J took the advantage. I don't necessarily agree with smacking her over the head with a, a sock of rocks, was it? She hit her in the head with. 
I didn't uh, see that. I don't, well, did I see you, that? You, you never see oh. anything. If anything is controversial, you seem to miss it. Oh, which yeah. is all because controversy does kind of follow you around. It does indeed, it is. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll find controversy everywhere. Plenty. And it's controversy it's certainly going on in the moment. Because Kira Kareem doesn't feel she should be in this contest. She feels she should be number one contender by default. Sophia Reid certainly has something to say about that. And Kira Kareem is finding out all about the radioactive one right here in the black box. Six or seven shoulder for us, wearing down the woman who thought she was going to be queen of IWN. Following in the footsteps of Bobby Tyler, but in the end it was Hayley J. Sophia Reid looking for the rainmaker. Taking Kamira to the outside of the oh, ring. Oh, oh, kicking the chest. Did you hear that echo of the walls in the back box? Oh. That was someone's chest cavity getting smacked about. Oh. Up she goes, two feet right wow. to the back. And also driving the head of Kamira into the canvas. First serious pinfall of this contest. Shy of a three, but only just. Sapphire Reed's impressing me here tonight, Ricky. I never agreed with, with, with Kira's stealing tactics of the IWM Women's Championship. Is that why you gave her a championship opportunity, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh there's the stunner! Oh, oh, First go. part of the stun buster! What turns hey, into a spear instead? She learned her mistake from yesterday! Oh, no and somehow, way. somehow Sapphire Reed gets out. That is normally the setup for the stun buster into that spine buster. She hit a spear yesterday. She couldn't pull off the stun buster against Hollywood Haley J, and she's obviously learned her mistake. She can't lose her call, Ricky. Well, 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 this core. is the thing, she can't lose her call. Well, that was incredibly savvy from Kimera. She learned her mistake yesterday and tried oh, to put it into practice. No, you were not gonna be you're not gonna be able to disrespect someone like Sapphire Reed and get away with that. Stinger! What a sound that Sophia Reed gave as good as she got right there! Yeah. Number one contendership is on the line, we must oh. remember! She's going for a German suplex and she nails Kira Kamir with it! And the native of Brittany France oh. is in real, real trouble, a twister! And Kira Kamir is struggling even to get to her feet! Carol by Kamira! Shot to the back, driving Tavari down. That's it. Hooks the leg, hooks it very deep indeed. No, not enough. And this returns to your point about keeping your course. He's going to have to keep her cool at this stage. Go for the stunner again. Once Stun again, here's the stunner. And she's going back to the spine buster. She hit it this time, Billy. She hit it. She got all of the stun buster in the ring. Contender. No, shoulder up, shoulder up. Tom's Garber couldn't believe it. We can't believe it here either. I believe that is the first time someone has kicked out of the Stun Buster since Kira Kamira debut here in IWN. What has she got to do to put this plucky sapphire away? Well, that was her smoking gun, wasn't it? That was her silver bullet. That's how she'd normally finish off an opponent. Oh, she's got the baseball guard. Didn't even see it in her hand. She's a super kick by Kira. And there's a Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard for Sapphire Reed. Two. And we've got a new number one contender, and it's Sophia Reed. So Fire Reed, what an incredible debut. She has taken out someone who was pretty much at the top of the game here in IWN. And she is now the new number one contender, Billy. Straight to the top. Holly Hood Haley J has got one hell, one hell of a contender on her hands. Well, maybe Holly Hood Haley J could be ZZ. We don't know yet, do we? Is it going to be whoever wins that match? Wow. I presume it's going to be the next wow. in line, right? Absolutely. ZZ is that will be the chance. champion? Yeah. Could be Hollywood, Hayley J, could be Zizzy, we'll find out that later in this broadcast, but it will be Sapphire Reed, your next contender for the IWN Women's Championship. So we, 
Yep, so now we turn our attention from the IWN Women's Championship pitcher to the Z4 Championship pitcher, Jay Joshua. He retained under what was hostile territory for him. He had a very difficult outing against two very, very game competitors. DeReese, he managed to get past DeReese, and he tapped out Jordan Oliver. It was quite a scene. There's three words I look at and think of all the time. Find a way. And Jay Joshua found a way. And tonight, it's a different sort of challenge. But for me, a technical battle. Jordan Brakes can find a hole, a twist, better than anyone in this country. This is going to be not just tough territory for Jay Joshua, but tonight could be the night that his, his championship reign ends. Be it. He might not get to seven. He wants to get to seven, of course, he does. so he can get the chance to cash in for the IWM World Championship shot. Is he going to get there? Let's He's got to get out. through Jordan Brakes first. Send it to Nels. All right, Hastings. We'll be saying we're ready for the next one. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And this fall, the Z Force Championship. Jordan Brakes is on his way to the ring, Ricky. So I mean, the thing, I want to say this very quickly before we talk about Jordan Brakes, but it's a great opportunity for him in general, right? Yeah. Jay Josh went for a war yesterday. Yes. Not weeks ago, not months ago. Yesterday, he had a damn hell of a triple threat match. Surely, as a competitor for Jordan Brakes' position, this is a great opportunity, right? Absolutely. He's got the champion at what I would say would be his weakest. He's a throwback for me. Yeah. He's a throwback. Um, the song... Theme tune sounds a bit like David Hasselhoff jumping my car. He looks like David Hasselhoff. Oh, oh his he music. does listen to music. He's the music. Got but he, he, but he's Hasselhoff. a serious, serious, serious performer. And do you know what? I'm excited to watch him in action. Challenger is in the ring. Champion about to make his way through the curtain. <laughs> To make his third defence out of the Z Force Championship, it's Jay Joshua. As we alluded to moments ago, if Jay Joshua gets to seven defences, he can cash in the Z Force Championship to get a crack at the big one. The IWN World Championship. Will he get there? He's going to have to get to three defences before he gets to seven. He will it. And I'll tell you what, this crowd, they are warming. Every single time he steps in that ring, they are warming to have their championship. And do you know why? He puts in a shift. They respect him. It's respect. This guy is earning respect. And last time out at Parade of Champions, Jordan Oliver Zarese, he dismantled, he was smart and got the victory. Tonight is a different, different challenge. But I'm telling you this. I don't think he's taking this lightly. No, I don't think so. No. I, I think we've seen that. We saw that from the very first moment of the first show back here at Black Box Hastings. He was the first match against Conor Mills. The following contest is scheduled for one four. And he took that very seriously indeed. It's for the Z Force Championship. <laughs> Introducing first the challenger from Brighton, England. He weighs in at 200 pounds. Jordan Brakes! And his opponent from Cardiff, Wales, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the Z Force Champion, sicker than your average, Jay Joshua! Here it goes. Referee the Chris Hatch holding it up there, Bill. Referee Chris Hatch, welcome back, Hatch. It's Hatch remain here every night. <laughs> every night. Every night. But tonight, the Seven Championship, a championship. And we, we remind people the stepping stone it's been to a, a Rob Sharp. Seven Champion, world champion. Super bad, Kip Sabin. Seven Champion, world champion, AEW Superstar. The legends like 
Ryan Smile. God rest his soul. God rest him. This belt has been held by countless of amazing talent that have gone to do amazing things in British wrestling and international wrestling around the world. Jay Joshua has taken this belt seriously. He understands what it means to be so. He does. And tonight? Third defence tonight, yeah. He's nearly, nearly. He's halfway. If he wins this, he'll be three, four, it's the seventh defence, right? So four, five, six, seven, yeah. He'll be practically halfway to a world title opportunity. We're nearly halfway there. <laughs> Absolutely, Jay Joshua does take it seriously. There's a lot of respect. We saw the handshake between the two at the beginning of this contest. This just will be a different sort of challenge, like, against a reason he had to deal with. Power, flying, power, speed. Power. The fact was, there were two in there. It was right? chaos. Yeah. Tonight will be a little bit more. Oh, maybe we'll see. But I think we'll be more I see him right now. I mean, we can see that technical ability. You did say he was a throwback. Yes. He he's done training with some of World of Sports finest. Steve Gray, I know he's done work with. He's also done work with Johnny Kidd. Yeah. So he know how to work the limbs. That's what he's doing right now. That arm. Even those side yeah. throwback. Yeah. Didn't see side When I first started, started, started growing. A little bit of facial hair with you. Know, about two weeks ago, when was that? Yeah, probably about three days ago. Um, I tried that. I tried that look. Not, I had hair, but I tried that look. Yeah. Did you pull it off? Not as much as Jordan Rose. No. Because no. look, and the reason look, he look can look is off. this. It's this because is he can, can back it up, yeah. And you're absolutely right when you said this is a different kind of contest. I think Jay Josh is getting a sense of that. He's having to grapple, he's having to get on the mat, he's having to try and get an advantage. He's trying to wrap. Jordan breaks up because that's exactly what he's doing to him. Turns it into a very nice half crab there, but once he hooked it properly, oh, Jordan breaks had it. I, well, Jay Joshua trying to get Jordan breaks hands off the ropes. Not overly sporting. Bit of, think, a, bit, of a, bit of a gentle competition there. I'm I think maybe you, more than anything. From the first time when Jay Joshua walked in here to now, the confidence seeping through him. I think that comes from. Familiarity with the venue. Momentum, right, as well. Momentum yeah. of being here, we being talk, a winner. We talked about momentum last night with Robert Well, Pat Parade, the champions. Oh, oh, oh sorry, Bill, sorry, going that rear naked choke, and he got him. But it's turned over by Brakes. He realised he was in danger and got out of it. I mean, it is the familiarity of the black box, but I'll tell you what. I tell you what, Jay Joshua, he is giving as good as he gets, even though this is a very different contest than any he's faced so far. Certainly in his time as chasing the Z Force Championship and holding it. And he is rising to the occasion here. We talk about momentum, Ricky, we talked about momentum last night. Robbie X, someone who is suffering from a momentum loss. Jay Joshua, the confidence through his veins after beating some, uh, some top, top contenders. He's coming here tonight. He looks like a winner. He does look like a winner because he knows how close he is. He knows it's only a few victories away from a World Championship opportunity. Yeah. Not only does he get the pride of being able to be a champion, he knows he could go and win it all. Exactly. That is what is on the line every time he goes in there. It's a much more kind of um, deliberate pace, isn't it, as far as uh, Jay Josh was concerned. Some of those other matches that were very fast paced, the action was very quick. It was very much about the agility, the speed, as well as the power. This is very methodical, this is very map based. And that, I think, really has been dictated by Jordan Brakes. It is. But uh, Jay's giving just as much I was going to say, Jay Joshua, he's like, he's not, he's not just going straight to his game. He's actually trying to take Jordan Brakes on his game. And that really is quite an impressive thing. Ricky, I've seen some of the absolute best technical wrestlers in this country um, over the last what, 16 years. Yeah. 16 years. As a as a promoter in this country, and I'm telling you this, I'm trusting the likes of Zach exactly, Saber Jr. Jordan Brakes is up there for me. Yeah. Just on this first view and this debut at IWM, this guy is a problem. There's a bit of we haven't seen too much speed, but there is a bit of speed. And Jordan Brakes is confusing, and this is again, this is the training coming from people like Steve Gray and Johnny Kidd. That whole kind of little bit of misdirection, grab a limb when the other person's not looking, twist them when they're not expecting it. That is very good. And Jay Joshua, he is finding out that uh, although he's trying to match Jordan Brakes, that, that is easier said than done. It is indeed. It is indeed. I've seen that a couple of times, Jordan working over the arm. He'll be thinking of the break special, that's how he likes to finish his opponents off. 
he'll twist the arm, he'll contort it into an unusual angle indeed, and then body scissors, and then that will normally be it for the opponent. So let's see if he keeps trying to work the big arms with Jay Joshua. Right, they're hot tonight, Ricky. Yeah. They're hot. Oh, oh, wow. Kick in wow. Turn. oh and there, we talk about the submission of Jordan Briggs, and there, right. Oh, on display is the submission of Jay Josh. The rear naked choke has been broken by Brakes, who is working over the hands and the arms. Turns it into a pinning position. And once again, straight back into the rear naked choke. He's working both, the left. My right hand, my right hand. Your, your, your left and your left and my right and my right. Luckily, he's got them both. A straight back to the rear naked choke. Jordan Brakes is trying to use his technical prowess to get out of this, but Jay Joshua is so strong. Wow. What a counter that was by Jordan Brakes. What a counter turning for the Z4 champion inside out. And now Jay Joshua has no limbs in which to get to the rope. He's trying to break arm free, and he does. Oh, Jordan Brakes must have thought he had it there. Clean break. Yeah, again, clean break. Like you said, a throwback to those World of Sport days. A clean break. There he goes, working over the arm. As we've already said, he's going to be thinking about that break special. If he hits it, if he locks it, that could be the end of Jay Joshua's Z Force Championship reign. Jay Joshua's going to have to wash his arms very carefully. Oh, Jay Joshua didn't go down. He wow. carried on going with the momentum he had. He ran straight back into Jordan Brakes. Do not pass go. What a catch, what a catch Whoa. by Jay Joshua! Oh, not on that occasion. What an incredible piece of strength and agility that was on display by Jay Joshua. Caught the man flying in midair, slammed him down with extreme prejudice. Crowd resolutely seeming in favour of the Z Force champion here in the black box. Absolutely. We know how much difference the crowd can make to a wow. contest and how much they can fuel the champion to go on. And the crowd want to see the Z4 champion smack breaks again. Happy to oblige is the champion. Oh, the chest of Jordan breaks, not so much. Hard, hard Irish whip. Referee Chris Hatch asking Jordan Brakes if he's okay to continue. That's how hard the Irish whip was into the turnbuckle. His power, Ricky. Again, yeah. we talk about Jay Joshua's power. Like it's I mean, he's got 50 pounds over Jordan Brakes. I mean, the momentum is going to whoa go that way. 250 of the Z Force champion, 200 of Jordan Brakes, and once again straight back to the arm. And the champion has been taken down, and he's really, really favouring. I think naively here, Jordan Brakes has got to be a little bit quicker. If I'm going to be a little bit. A little, bit, a little bit quicker, he, he's yeah. just taken the arm out of the he's socket. The, he's the straight on it, straight on he it. He is straight, straight on it. On it. All there he goes, here he comes. Not he's straight, bending. That's bent. That's bent. This is what he's trying to do, he's going to try to bend that in an unusual angle. If he can hook it and then put on the body scissors, the break special will be complete. Oh! A desperation hit that felt like because of the pain that's going through his arm. Jay Joshua with his right hand, which is free, I see the only mistake I would say here from Jordan Brakes is that he didn't work over the other arm that much first because one armed Jay Joshua is still a lethal weapon. Up goes Jordan Brakes, the champion takes him down, kicks him on his way back, and there's a penalty kick for his troubles, sacks him over, two, no, no, no. Very quick to the cover, but Brakes has a little bit more left in the tank, it seems. Genuinely, Ricky, whilst I thought this would be a challenge for Jay Joshua tonight, I am speechless in a way. This could go any way right now. It really could. 
I thought James was on his roll. He will step it tonight. He will walk back into Hastings. And he will put this Jordan Brakes kid away. Well, I think it goes with some, to some extent, the fatigue, right? We know he defended about yesterday in that triple threat. And it was... It was close. I mean, he outlasted them really more than anything. It wasn't that he bested them. He outlasted them. So, you know, he's got to be running on a bit of fatigue having defended the belt in such a high-profile match yesterday. Something that you wonder if that's going to play into this slightly. But, yeah, absolutely. Jordan Brakes is pushing Jay Joshua to the limit. I haven't, haven't seen Jay Joshua in a position really like this. Certainly in a one-on-one -on -one encounter since we first saw him against Conor Mills. Back at Z-Force Live! The machine gun strikes from the Z-Force champion. Oh, oh boy, right. he didn't have any arms free. If you have no arms free, you've got to use your head. Oh, wow, wow. Look at his wrist. He's got the arm. Oh. He's working the arm again. He's got him hooked. It's the wrist, look at that wrist. Body scissors, has the wrist. If he can take him down to the canvas. He can't take him down to the canvas, Jay Joshua floats him over. The brake special was almost hooked on. It was almost locked tight. And the champion with the reverse. Oh my goodness, Wheelbarrow. Look at the strength of the Zenfoss oh. champion. A deadlift Wheelbarrow, Germany. Are you kidding me? Wow. And straight into a transition goes Jordan Brakes, who has gone right back to the arm. And the champion is in real trouble. Go for the scissors. He's got it. The brake special and he's locked in. This is how he beats his opponents, Billy. He's got it locked. And I don't think Jay Josh can see the ropes. I don't think he can flail out to get them. We are going to get a Zenfoss champion right here, right now. A new Zenfoss champion. Or Jay are Joshua, we? or are we? The tenacity, the strength, the power. Somehow getting brakes up to the top oh. turnbuckle, breaking the hold. But look at the damage that's been done to the arm, Billy. He needs to capitalise, but can he capitalise? Well, this is the point. Is he thinking muscle buster breaks is in the? But yes, he is. He's thinking muscle buster, but damage has been done to the arm. Has enough damage been done to the arm? That's the question. But he's got him up. There was damage, there was too much damage, he's going straight back oh, into the break again. special and he's the middle of the ring this time Billy. The champion is in real peril here and breaks is twisting every single part of the wrist and the arm of the champion. This is it. We are this on the it, verge, Ricky. yeah we are on the verge, I can see it very clearly here. Jordan Breaks feels this is the moment. Jay Joshua looks like he might be fading here. He is. Rolls over, tries to get some momentum, he breaks the hold briefly. But breaks transition strains with arm bar, but Joshua managing to just about hold on, turning him into another one, two, no, and once again it's that strength of the champion, powerball oh by Jay Joshua, down he goes, no, and straight away breaks has his arm, how has he counted with that, took a powerbomb straight into an arm bar, he did indeed, he did indeed. Joshua having to roll out in whatever way he possibly can. He's got to do what he can. He's got to do what he can to get out of this, Ricky. Or his reign is over. Once again, over that arm. Turning it into more of a Fujiwara arm bar, reverse version. Has not stopped working on the arm in the last five or six minutes, relentlessly taking apart one of the weapons of the champion, but he's got oh lethal feats as well. It's not just his arms. And the native of Cardiff, Wales, has the challenger in the drop zone. Muscle buster by Jay Joshua, the champion. Just gently puts an arm over, yeah. but that was enough, Billy. Like I said, whoa, he's halfway there, there. nearly. Jay Joshua. He had to go to the limit. He had to do things he's not used to doing. Sorry. Could you let people know today you need to go round? You've got the camera there, it'll knock the camera. Just let them know for me. Go round. And Jay Joshua, he has managed to get past Jordan Rakes there. What an effort it was. Jordan Brakes gave everything and he worked that arm almost to death of Jordan Brakes. Oh, that is a good show of sportsmanship once again. A nice bit of throwback, great respect by Jordan Brakes, but Jay Josh was so close there. I respect that. Great 
reception for the Z Force champion here in Hastings. A third successful defence. Only a few more needed, and he could get a shot at the World Championship. I'll have to let him so we've gone from the Z Force Championship pitcher, Jay Joshua has retained. We now turn our attention to the new IWM Women's Champion, Hollywood AJ. Wrestlers. Yeah, our champion. It's gone worldwide, global in fact. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about Holly Hood, Hayley J being the IWN Women's Champion. And tonight, she defends against one of the most exciting young talents in Britain, in Zizi. Exactly. Is she going to get the W? We're going to find out. Let's send it to well, Nels. Women's Championship match on its way now. Question. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! And this fall, the IWN Women's Championship. The woman with uh, what I presume we're saying is the self-proclaimed most expensive jacket in the black box. We were One told hundred. We were told yesterday yeah, 126,000, Billy. Apparently. No, 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 no. 126,456 pounds, Ricky. That felt that that beautiful jacket is on one of the most exciting rising stars in the UK right now. Look at it. Look at it. I can see it. C Z. It's 126,000 pounds though. That's a lot of money, right, for a jacket. Yeah, she might become. Oh, I think that's got inflation. If, if she wins tonight, she becomes the youngest of all the champion, I believe. Which or, I think is worth more than that jacket. Well, I think being the champion of IWN. Sure, the belt's probably worth 127 pounds. Oh, is it? Yes. Challenger is in the ring. Another woman who became champion. Just 24 hours to go. A parade of champions in Milton Keynes. The native of the Skeets. The Bougetterist buddy that we have in the business right now. A name that is talked about constantly, both in America and here in England. Not just for her Netflix. Show for the fact she is a free time. Wow. OBW Women's Champ straight in the face of Zizzy. Well, she's come here to defend the belt. She has that confidence. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! And this fall, the IWN Women's Championship. <laughs> Introducing first the challenger. From Nottingham, England, she is the Zizi. A dangerous challenger here. And her opponent from the streets. She is the Bougetuist Betty, the star of Wrestlers on Netflix, and the new IW Red Women's Champion, Hollywood. I think, I think I, oh, they're fighting words. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, we all know I like this sort of characters. We know that. And hey, I know the crowd like her, but I love the attitude. I love the confidence. Well, she's champion. Yeah, a bit like the brilliance in that sense. Like they, they've got that swagger. Nah, that, well, that's different because the brilliance didn't be on his own, did he? No, so she did. She did. She did. I've got to give her credit. Yep. I'll give her credit. Champ, champ. Zizzy pretending she's going to launch an early offensive. To be fair, Zizzy's taken a very long time to get her jacket out of the ring. Oh, it's an expensive jacket. 
Yeah, but this is an IWM Women's Championship match. Why will you be moaning and worrying about your jacket for? Perspective is a healthy thing. And the perspective right now is that Zizzy, if she can concentrate, could become Whoa. the next IWM Women's Champion. Starting out strong, slamming Hayley J disrespectfully into the canvas. It's easy when you're easy. I mean, it's confident attitude from both of them. I mean, Hayley J, I suppose, is slightly more reasonably confident, bearing in mind she beat Kira Kamara yesterday, who, of course, was seemingly unstoppable. Once again, it's Izzy slamming Hayley J into the canvas in the early going. Picking the champion up front her into the corner. I think it's the oh. high advantage coming into play. There's about half a foot between them, five foot five of the Bougetterist buddy. And it's the six foot of the uncommon Azizi. She does not suck. Using that height to advance. Look at the ease in which she hit that body slam. Is he relatively new? She is, but look at the Only two now. years, exactly. Only two years, and look at the swagger that she's bringing to the ring. After only two years, trained by Sticks and House of Pain. Yeah. Serious the people there. Serious heavyweight. Yeah. He broke her ring once. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah no, real yeah. known fact, Canterbury International Pro Wrestling, episode five, yeah. that ring was broke by Sticks yeah. and Rob Lynch. Canterbury, yeah. Can Westgate Hall, Canterbury. Canterbury. Yep. Many moons ago. Oh. And he's the man that has trained Zizzy, and you can see a lot of that power, a lot of that brutality on display. She learned from one of the best. Look, there's a, there's a lot with Hayley tonight, where you look at it and you think, she flew in, she won the championship on fumes, really, flying in that day, landing that morning. Tonight's a risk, as jet lag kicked in. You think that she's tired? You think that she's... Is, is that what, oh. oh okay it's like America the, you know we're all friends now allies we're allies and the prognosis from Billy Wood is that jet lag might be playing a factor in Ollie and Hayley Jane the fact is if it is she'll lose the championship but if she does manage to get over this jet lag or whatever we think might be going on at the same time she's taking it back to the States this time right she's taking it back yeah. to the States you may see it on TV shout out Al Snow shout out OVW but she's got to get in there first, Rick. She has got to get there first. It's going to be counters like that that might take her there. Shoulders down. Reversing of the virtual suplex. Very nicely done. Oh, oh but she eats a boot for her troubles having done so. No. I mean, I am. I mean, you, you do wonder if it was jet lag or it was more that she had everything taken out of the tank yesterday against Kira Kamira. She really had to like, throw everything at Kira to get that win in the end. She, she, had, she took a lot of damage. And that's got to, you've got to give credit to Kira Kamara there, Ricky, because she put Hayley J through a war. She did. She just tried to cheat at the end, which is what cost her. That's one of the reasons why Hollywood Hayley J has the win. But, but what an opportunity for, her, um, for ZZ, sorry. What an opportunity. Tonight, 20 years of age, she didn't, she pretty full with Kira's winning streak, but she was coming in to have a match against an import like Hayley no! Jones. Just a, a name marker, maybe to make a bit of a name for herself. It's not just a name. It, it, it no! could have been all, could have been there. It can be a championship too. She could be the IWM Women's Champion. She would be the youngest champion I think we've almost ever had in we've had any young, we've of had, our championships. We've had young champions. Younger than 20? Side, side was young. We'll have to look at the record books, but I'm pretty she sure might she's be 19, not the might, be not, might be 19, I think. But yeah, certainly one of the youngest champions we'd have ever had if Zizzy could could take Hollywood Hayley J out at the first defence. Hayley J's no old vet either, you know. I mean, yeah, only a few years more in the business. 
incoming trains by the likes of JC Rotten, Maria James, Ronnie Roberts, obviously Al Snow, the amazing the OBW Maria. team. Trained by some big names over there in America. I know wow. it's a body slam the other way around. It's like Hulk Hogan and Andre Giant. <laughs> There's a foot of difference between the heights. It's much harder for Haley to hit a move like that than it is for Zizzy in terms of that differential. She's got to keep her down like that. To lose the height That's advantage, she's to got do. to keep her on her knees. Here we go, Haley. Up to the top rope goes the champion. Perfect position, what a crossbody! Hug the leg, hugs it deep! No, not enough on that exchange. As he finds a way to roll the shoulder, it wasn't a convincing kick out, but it keeps her in this contest. It does indeed, it does indeed. This is our second championship match of the evening. Of course, Joe Joshua already successful in his defence in the Zephyrs Championship. And coming up later on, the brilliant James Ellis will be defending against the local hometown hero Lupo Lee for the IWM World Championship. The 999 shot. Apparently so. Don't agree with that. Oh, oh running oh Death Valley Driver! Oh my goodness. Championship in peril for Hollywood Haley J here! Hollywood Haley J with the foot! A foot on the rope, I do believe, yes! Tom Scarberry is saying the rope is involved. Zizzy fought. She became champion, but she what, didn't. From what we see, it was a, we can't see from our position, Ricky, but I think it was her hand. Was it her hand? Yes. I do apologise. Thank you. That's smart. You're in the same position that I am. How did you know that? Yes. Oh, that you saw? Well, oh, she saw that. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. I've, I've, just dropped my, I've just dropped my phone. What? Oh. What? You dropped? Oh, Billy Wood, look at the action, please, because just, Zizzy trying to use her jacket what? as a weapon. What? Oh. Oh, did you miss that, did you? I didn't see that. Tom Scott, wait a minute. Oh, oh wait a minute. She's, oh. She threw she threw the sack of rocks. What? what? Threw the sack of rocks. Threw the sack of rocks at Zizzy. Tom Scarborough didn't see anything. No, did not, Zizzy didn't hit her. No, she's saying, did you hit me with it? Well, Tom Scarborough didn't see anything happen. Hollywood, Haley J. Oh, and she goes what? for the roller. Oh, oh. She rolls her arm. She's still got the sack in her hand. But she got her. Here's your winner. And still, Adam Wynn. Well, she managed, I mean, I don't necessarily always agree with those kind of tactics, really, but you can't say they weren't effective. I mean, she was fainting, she was going to hit her with the soccer rocks, and in the end, rolls her up, and Zizzy, well, have the eyes open a bit more next time, have those eyes in the back of your head, because uh, she got outsmarted there, Billy. Eyes have been women's champion still very much. The native of OVW, should we take that back to the States then? Give it up for the brand new women's champion, Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh my god. Climber from behind, Kira Kamara! Kira Kamara attacking oh, Hollywood Haley wow. J! We said how angry she was! Out of nowhere she has come to attack Haley J! They're saying who I? That's Kira Kamara, she's already been wow. out! Someone's got to stop this out. Kira Kamara and Sissy is oh. now putting the boots into Holly and Haley J. Oh and Kira Kamara is getting in the ring. Directing Sissy oh, to what oh end? No. Kira Kamara oh, was no. oh, 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 The oh, sock oh, of rocks. No, the no. sock of rocks. That's Holly and Haley J's trademark no. sock of rocks. No, oh. right over the head. Oh my goodness, right getting there. The no. That is not her championship! Someone get in there, someone help her out, please. Kira Kamira is screaming at Hollywood Haley J. Screaming that it's Tom, her belt, but the fact is, it's not her belt. Look, we need like, no fun and games now. We need to get someone in there. She just took a sock Smacked full it right of rocks over the head. Get in there, help her out. Kira Kamira is out. that is reprehensible. I cannot believe this, luckily. Chris Ash and Tom Scarborough escorting them from ringside. She's, Ricky, she's she a loose cannon. Oh. Kira is a loose cannon. Holly Holy J is barely stirring. That, that is ridiculous. That's not how we treat our. No, that place. is not. That is not at all. And Hollywood Haley J trying to shake. No, look, look, Ricky, I, I, I as best she Holly can. Hayley she's barely. Look, Ricky, I, I like to have a bit of fun and games out here, but that barely that's moving. too much. She's trying to get herself moving. Chris Hatch is trying to 
That's too Trying much. to help her from the ring, but she, she can barely stand it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 she can stand. Oh, oh no, I think she's just come to. Wow. I think she's just come to. Oh. And the champion is storming backstage here in the black box. Presumably after Kira Kamara. Oh, my goodness. So now we're going to turn our attention to Anniversary 9. Here's a quick video. Anniversary 9 is on its way. Anniversary 9, what a little video that was, Billy, lovingly made, I must say, showcasing the very best of us. I am so, 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 so proud of our history. I really, really am. However, however, Ricky, the history is one thing, but our future is in our hands, and the IWN is stronger than ever. Our subscribers are flying up. Our numbers on social media are going in one way, up, 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 up. And as we hit Anniversary 9, what can happen? Anything. And not just so that, who's going to be world champion then? Well, we'll find out because we're going into... Uh, actually, is that now, is it? Is it the world champion? I, I don't oh, have that. Is it world champion time now? It is. We're going to... Yeah, look. I, like, Goodness me, you're I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's early in the it evening well, for this, It's a world right? championship, early man. Early in the for a world it's, championship, man. It's, it's, let's be frank. Let's be frank. It's, it's the brilliance. The what world champion versus... Hometown hero. No, the hometown hero, not the 999 to 1. Well, the hometown hero, Lou Poli, who got a win yesterday. Well, 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 well. He did, he did. But if he does it tonight, fair play. Fair play, Lou Poli. But let's see. Let's see. Let's take it to Nels. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And this fall, the IWM World Championship. They've been waiting for this one. Obviously, we've had a lot of shows here in Hastings, but are we going to have our first champion from Hastings? We're about to find out. Hometown hero, Lupo Lee. Very happy hunting ground. He's held championships in this area of the world before. He has defended championships in this area before, but he has never been in a position to call himself world champion. Ricky, Ricky, Is that Ricky, gonna change Ricky, right there, now? Ricky, there's levels to professional wrestling. And the IWN World Championship has been held by the absolute very best. The very best. This man is going to have to really, really, really step his levels up to be a world champion. This is like I said, a 999 to one shot because this guy has never been at that pinnacle. But but he's got hey, an opportunity. Dream tackle. You're, you're, why are you making out like he's not in the match? He's in the match. Why dream then? Why 999 to one? Dream oh, tackle. Crap. Dreams happen. Dreams happen. Why? But this as could long be a as this is a fair fight, this could be a nightmare. Incredibly popular here in Hastings, unsurprisingly having come from Hastings. He grew up in this area. Here we go, Ricky. He trained here in this we area. Go. Will you sit down, Billy Here Wood? we go. Will the you brilliance. sit down? The brilliance is coming to the ring. On ribs. your feet again. What is it with you in this man? He is the champ. That's He's supposed to be champ. impartial. The 21st man to, to hold the IWN World Championship. The brilliance. You don't James have Eddie. to cheer for this man. You, you can just you can just say what you see. You don't have to get up and clap for him. 
Look, look at Scott. Your club, man who stole the world championship. The champ. He's defended it. The champ is here. Nefariously so far. The champ Levi is Levi Muir has been helping him every step of the way. Has he? Pretty much, yeah. It's because of Levi Muir, Mark Haskins isn't world champion right now. I do believe it's because of Levi Muir, Gringo Loco is not world champion right now. Is he? That's what my opinion is. Opinions are like everyone's got one. Well, I'm saying, if it wasn't for Levi Muir, James Ellis, I don't think we have the chance right now. Get up on your feet! Get up on your you feet! Back up on, why are you up standing up again? Feet. What Come is on. wrong with you? The champion, James Ellis, is in the ring. He's parading that championship like he's proudly won it, and he hasn't. I have seen nothing yet from James Ellis that can tell me he can close the match out by himself as champion. I have not seen that. Maybe this will be one-on-one -on -one tonight. Maybe Lupo will be lucky. The following contest is an IWM World Championship match. Scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first, the challenger from Hastings, England. <laughs> Wow. And his opponent. Yes. Well, this reaction will be different. Wales. Oh, yeah. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the brilliant, always good as gold, and the IWM world champion, James Ellis. A fairly different reaction to the one Lupo well, that's just a lovely got. cheer, that. That was a lovely, a lovely cheer. cheer. I it sounded more like a boo. Listen, listen now, listen to this. Hear that? What's that? Clapping. From one man. One sad man. In the corner. Charter hasting zone. He's saying he can beat him with one hand. I believe him. If you believe him, what do you mean? Oh, look at this! kicks three from Lupo Lee! And the world champion! He wasn't expecting Lupo Lee to come out of the gates quite as quick as he has. But Lupo has, he flies over. And the world champion taken down by a drop kick. And Lupo Lee springs back to his feet. The world champion is out of sorts here. Lupo firing on that momentum. The momentum that he got yesterday. And that's all it takes. That's all it will take. But he won roll up. One quick cover. Shoulders down for free. Oh it's no. all Lupo Lee needs. He just needs a chance. And that is what he's got right here. That momentum he built no. yesterday got the deciding pinfall. Technically beat Reason Rogan yesterday. A parade of champions. Avenging an earlier loss against them in this very oh, venue. Oh, oh, oh. oh, straight into the turnbuckle. Oh, oh, oh. Lupo forced to the outside. Oh, my goodness. And the challenger oh, for the no. World Championship get, hit the steel. Come on, put your, put your, come on, put your bets in. Get your bets in now, Rick. Get, you, get your, your bets, bets in. in. 999 to you? 1. Come on. What is up with you? Oh, I'll, give you oh, I'll give you 1500 to 1. Come on, Ricky. Get your bets in. To one. What is it with you in this, this whole <laughs> odds thing? Luke only has just as good a chance as anybody, as far as I'm concerned. Well, there's a man who said, if you've got two hands, you have a fighting chance. But where's that guy now, eh? Great question, where is that guy Nowhere. now? He's not here, Nowhere. he's not the focus. The focus right now is if Hastings' own Lupo Lee can get the job done. Can the King of Games rise to take down the brilliance? There we go, big chop. Oh! And now Lupo gets his opportunity and he slaps the champion. In one of the most partisan crowds I can remember in IWN history here, Billy. Hometown hero and then some. Every single person in this building wants Lupo Lee to do it. James Ellis might as well be fighting the whole of Hastings tonight. Kick the right rope <laughs> right in the right in the never regions. Nothing. And Chris Hatch remonstrating with Lupo Lee who eats a boot. Cover, kick out, very nonchalant cover I have to say from a man who is Ida in world champion. Very nonchalant indeed, looking past Lupo Lee and I think that is a great mistake 
Kira Kamira looked past Molly Hood Haley J yesterday, and look what happened to her. They do love Lou Poli. They do, hometown they do. hero. They, they know oh. he's had success before in this town. They know he's won belts before in this town. They believe he can do it here. You were wrong though about one thing. What thing? You said everyone wants him to win tonight. Well, you don't count. Okay. Neither one of us count. Okay. I can tell you I'm want sure James. I count. You want James Ellis, and I, I can tell. Oh, I can tell. Oh, a bit, a bit of a throwback to last night when he took out the biggest and baddest luchador. With and Levi Mears' help. I tell you what, you're Russell. not really a details man when it comes to how wins and losses happen, hey. are you? Levi Muir was the reason that James Ellis is in this okay. match as champion. Okay, okay, if that's what you believe. But it's true. But where is where's where's Levi now? You're, if you're on YouTube, when you finish this, go back to Parade of Champions. You can confirm whether I'm wrong or Billy is wrong, and Billy is wrong. If you think I'm wrong, comment in the section below and say, okay. Billy is wrong, <laughs> okay? Yeah, well, uh, but you, really, you you're going to write, talk, Billy is right. Yourself. Don't ask yourself, Billy is wrong. And right now, Luke only might be right. It might be right place, right night, right town, right person for the job. Luke only could be zeroing on here. It's becoming a IWM champion crossbody. Hooks the legs deep. That's all it could take. All it will take. Three seconds is all Opoli needs, and he's one moment, one opportunity, one moment of, dare I say, brilliance, and he could become world champion. Oh, he's, he's got him in there. Oh. Try, oh, oh, pokes him in the eye. Chris A pokes him in the eye. Chris Hass needs to get in there. What a close line. Lupo landed. No head Off left. The force of that shot, his head buried into the canvas. Oh. And Ellis picked him up. Ellis picked him up. This is a world championship. Oh. How disrespectful of Ellis. Absolutely nothing. Touch of brilliance by James Ellis. Two. Oh, I can't believe that. The poke to the eye as well. Here is your winner. And still, IWM World Champion. Well done, James. Will you stop clapping? Will you sit down for one? Lupo Lee looked like he was zeroing in. Get your photos, people. On the moment he needed. Get your photos. But James Ellis. Lupo Lee. Hit the, the touch of brilliance after, around the corner. after poke Hold to on. the eye, I Hello. might say. Just re-add that in case you missed it. Poke to the eye, Billy. Gouged him. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even feel like I broke a sweat just now. One, two, three, four, shut up your ass, mate. Now, the brilliance is still feeling like he hasn't been tested. So, do you know what? Anyone who's not scheduled for the rest of the night. I'm going to do another open challenge for you all. It can be any of you. I know your day is me and you. You know, you want to go with him, but you are not. Anywhere near the level. Come on, go Lee. Let it go, Lee. So go on. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What? No, no, it can't be. It can't be. Whoa! No, no way. No way. Leo Rush is in the black box, Hastings. What? Not scheduled to be here as far as I understand it. What a moment this is. James Ellis is absolutely beside himself. What a mistake from your IWM World Champion, Billy Wood. What a it. mistake by the brilliance. Sometimes when you ask, you must be very careful for what you receive. I don't believe this. Leo Rush. Answering an open to James Ellis. James Ellis is saying no, but you, you asked for it. You asked for it, James Ellis. James, there's James, no good remonstrating with us. You asked it's a for it. Title. I can't do anything. It's yeah, a there's match. nothing he can do I can't about do anything. it. Ladies and 
little bit. I have just been informed by IWN owner Billy Wood. So, oh, I can't. I can't. I'm not doing championship man. Oh my God. Wait, you've done it. Oh no. You've done it to yourself, Alice. Exactly. Why, James? Why? The crowd are saying it absolutely dead right. This is Alice's fault. He got smug, he got cocky, he got arrogant. Leo Rush is in Hastings. Leo Rush is in Hastings and James Ellis' championship is in great jeopardy now. He was the one who said, he said, oh, I'll give a challenge anybody in the back. I can't believe Cause, this. Because you and him didn't know who oh was no. in the back. Oh, oh where's he oh going no. now? Oh, he's taking, oh, no. oh, he's taking about right, running. Right, taking right, about right. running. There is absolutely no surprise here at right. all. Get out of here. Straight out of the back goes James Ellis. B. Lopo Lee. B. Lopo Lee with an eye gouge, I might add. Oh, Leo Rush has caught him. Oh, Leo Rush, he wants his pound of flesh here. He wants that championship. He's answered an open challenge. And the brilliance with a great strategic error here in the black box. Oh having to defend goodness, one after the other, Billy. He's having Ricky, to go, oh. going to go the distance twice here. I, 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 I'm speechless. He, he said he, he wanted to open challenge. He put it out there. I, we, we can't do anything about it. Leo Rush could be our champion tonight. Leo Rush is right for me to be here tonight. We said, we said there was a chance that one championship could go back to the States, and it has. We might be seeing a second oh one God. flying back from Heathrow in not too long a time. Well, May's going to be expensive. May is going to be expensive. You have to fly these people up. They're going to have our belts, Billy. You're going to need to consider that. Mr. Russ could be world champion. We already know that Hollywood Hay J is IDW women's champion. We are rushed directing traffic here at ringside. Propping. Propping James Ellis up. That's a 10 count. Hatch, call this off. Let me call this out. Call this off? Are you a referee now? Oh, Leo Rush. Leo Rush, I think, is just too quick for the brilliance here. Just too quick. And let's remind ourselves that Ellis went through quite a war yesterday with Gringo Loco. That was a hell of a ball in Milton Keynes. And he beat Lupo Lee just now. And now, because of his mouth, let's be honest, his big mouth has got him into this match against Leo Rush. How much is left in the champion's tank? Leo Rush has won championships in TNA. He's won championships in New Japan. He's won championships in MLW and also in the WWE. Leo oh Rush taken down. Whip of the arm, whip of the hip. Ellis in great position here. No. Chris Hatch making it very clear to the champion it was only a two. And if you're James Ellis here, surely, surely the only tactic you've got is to grind Leo Rush down. Oh you've goodness. got to slow him down. You, you look very, very I'm stressed, and unhappy, I'm Billy Wood. Oh, I need a break. What, you need a break? Get, <laughs> well, I'm got, afraid, neither you, neither you, you've got, you've got no ibuprofen. It's crowded or annoying me, you've got any ibuprofen, I'm getting we've, annoyed. We've got no tablets for you, you can't go anywhere, oh. and neither can James Ellis. Oh. Hold on a minute, I'm happy now. Kick, yeah. What do you mean you're happy now? It's okay. Are you twins or something? Are you like linked together mentally? You've got some sort of neural link between you, when he's doing well, you're doing well. What's that about? Many have said we look like brothers, but we are not, okay? We are not brothers. He's the champion. That's it. And he earned it on merit. And he's at the top of his game right now. If, if I was James Ellis, I would not be taking any time to give any opportunity for Leo Rush to have a moment's rest. That would be a huge mistake. Ricky, you're right. And, and the reason I am stressed, the reason why I, I do need two eye ibuprofen right now is because I know how good Leo Rush is. Last night, he went to war with Robbie X. He continually kept Robbie X's momentum to zero. Because Robbie X is currently on the losing streak, like we know. But it was a war, and Leo Rush did win that war. And tonight, 
he wasn't even meant to be here. He was scheduled to be somewhere else, but he has turned up. But it shows what IWN is all about. It shows that we always, always look to give that extra bit to our fans because this is pro wrestling at its finest. You give the extra bit to the fans. This was a surprise open challenge. James Ellis didn't know he was going to be here. You didn't know he was going to be here. Hey, hey. I mean, there's an extra match here that neither one of you wanted. Let's be honest. I'm a promoter, Ricky. I mean, yeah, very nice Sometimes that you can I have promote to take now. the opportunities. It's a surprise. Nobody knew. James Ellis didn't know. You didn't know. That's the thing. You can, you can spin it however you like. The fact is that Brilliance is defending twice back to back because of his big man. That is what's happening. Yes. Just like Lupo Just oh. like Lupo Lupo Think in touch of Brilliance. Wow, a rush. Touch of Brilliance. Oh. Huge mistake by James Ellis. Leo Rush. We know he was somewhere in Hastings, presumably because he came out. So he must have been able to see on the monitors back there. What James Ellis did and how he beat Lupo Lee, so when he caught to it, it made Leo Rush wise to the brilliance his next move. The oh, Irish, oh. wicked, wicked Irish win by Leo Rush. Oh hit the ring goodness. post on the way. I think, I hit the turnbuckle, hit the ring post on his back. Check his pulse. Check his pulse. Check his pulse? Pulse. Did you say something else? Did you say Pulse? P-U-L-S-E? Yeah, I, I thought you said something else. You will be. No, Pulse. You say you can't do that, Ricky. Disgusting man. Be serious. This is a world championship match. Serious. Be stressed. serious. Leo Rush is go. taking such damage to the back. You've got to wonder, is he going to make a 10 count? Chris Hatch is up to eight. That's it, champ. Alice is already celebrating in the ring. Leo Rush has barely Ooh. moved. He's barely champion. moved. He's so down. Oh, he did. But look, he didn't even get into the ring. He basically flopped onto the apron. The damage surely done by Alice. You guys stay down. That was not meant to happen. It wasn't meant. This is not meant, meant to happen. Yeah, it wasn't meant to happen. He was when he wished you the open challenge. He is. He's not IWN, he's IWN world champion. He does not represent the best of this company, in my opinion. And he's trying to fight into a crowd. Leo Rush takes him onto the apron. Rip and a snap, and the world champion is down. And Leo Rush has an opportunity. He has an opening, and he's going to fly right through it. Suicide dive directly into the wall of the black box. The world champion's in trouble, and Leo Rush is going again. A second suicide dive, are you kidding me? Ellis looks absolutely out of it, and Leo Rush is hyping himself up to a fever pitch. He can feel it. He can smell a world championship coming his way. Off the ropes once, twice, another suicide dive. They almost went through the wall, wow. Billy! This place is unhinged! Unhinged, it was almost demolished! Oh my god, that wall is fragile, it is. <laughs> the world champion bounced off the wall, not once, not twice, but three times in quick succession. Leo Rush is seconds away, I believe, here, Billy. If he can just capitalise on what he's just done, he is seconds away from taking the world championship away from the brilliance. Favouring the back, the back that hit the ring post. We know the damage has already been done. And you have to say that is smart tactics by Ellis to keep going for the back. And there's the Lariat. The Lariat that wiped out Lupo Lee earlier. That's setting up for the touch of brilliance. But look at that, Leo Rush straight out. Straight into a crab though, middle of the ring by the brilliance again. You can hate the man, but you cannot hate the tactics. Wise, wise tactics. Middle of the ring is Leo Rush. He is not close to the ropes at all. And Ellis is sitting out on it, Billy. Sits back. If he just cinches it back, pulls him back in, he will stay as champ. But Leo, Leo Rush. Leo's getting there, Ricky. He's getting so close. His fingertips are so close. And Leo Rush does oh. manage to get his arm. Oh his my. left arm. Drapes and Ellis almost refusing to break the count. Would have led to a disqualification, which would have been a tremendous shame for Leo Rush and for the audience here and for you wherever you are. Crucial moments here in this World Championship encounter. The champion is on the ascendancy, Leo Rush favouring his back. He's going to have to rely on all of his experience, all 10 years oh, wow. of his career are going to have to get him through this. 
the four shoot he needs and he did exactly what James Ellis did earlier on oh. it's exactly what Ellis did earlier on this evening he did the very same thing I think he did that to Lupo Lee Neo Rush has studied James Ellis very very quickly he listened earlier on to what happened to Lupo Lee he saw the tactics of James Ellis and he has used them against him that's what look at Look at what Lee Rush is saying, he's saying I was that close, it's that close, I can feel it. It's just a tiny bit away, He just knows a it. tiny bit away. If he can just hold on, if his back can just keep in the distance. We'll soon find out, Ricky. Oh, fire. It's been counted, counters the rush hour, the rush hour is counted. Ellis rolled up, corkscrew kick right on the side of the champion's head. Rush over, not over quick, had a very deep cover, but couldn't get enough purchase on the shoulders to stop Ellis from getting out. Look at Ellis's eyes, oh no. Ellis is glazed over, Billy. I'm worried. Oh, you were worried 15 minutes ago, I don't know what's going through your head now, it must be like a hamster running around in a cage. I don't think Levi Mer knows this is going on. No, I, think I don't think so. he might be too focused. On, on tonight and Haskins and, and thinking that the 999 to 1 shot is oh no hold on it's about oh to be no. a 1 to 1 oh. shot Leo Rush the bad child from the top went for the final hour Ellis out of the way to running knee Dodd drops him turns him in a modification blue from the middle of the ring two only and Ellis the world champion I'm trying to seize the moment what is he doing Straight up to the top, huge oh, elbow drop elbow. to the half, Leo Rush, the bad child, no, still, There's still no in way. this contest, and look at the face of the world champion, no the emotions way. that man what has gone through, do? What else well, I don't know what do, else he's going to do, but he's put himself in this position, Billy, if he's going to get out of here with a world championship, and I do not know if he will, he is going to have to dig down deep and actually prove he deserves to be a champion, he's going to have to prove it here. The champion's been taking too long. He's been too frustrated. Oh, I pulled the referee. No, oh, I poked it out just like he did with Lupo Lee. Did the same thing with Lupo Lee. Close line takedown by Leo Rush. Goes over for the cover with anything he had. He flopped to the canvas, but it's not enough on this exchange. Wow. Poor Chris Hatch. I thought he was going to lose his head then. Well, I'm not surprised James Ellis tried to use the referee to his advantage there. We've seen that kind of behaviour almost every time we've seen the brilliance. Oh, it's a super kick to Rush. Well, champion has an opening. Oh, the opening closed. The opening closed just as quickly as it was there. His teeth just came out. the ropes. And this time he nails him. He gets every single bit of the rush hour. Over for the cover. Two. No! James Ellis is hanging on to his championship by the skin of his teeth. And now this time, oh, and now this time there's the crab. And look at this. Oh. Turn the ropes, fair play. And it's now Ellis that is calling the crab. Oh, it's now Ellis that has to try and get to the ropes. Has the world champion got it left? Oh. And he just, he just does. Wait, he's no. pulled him off. He's pulled him off Has the ropes, he? Billy. He's oh, pulled off the Chris Hatch has not broken the heart. Hatch. And James Ellis what is screaming in pain. He is screaming in pain here. The chicken's coming home to roost for the world no. champion who is fighting for his no. title with every last fibre at this point, Billy. Well, Chris Hart, Chris Hatch caught elbow and another poke to the eye. Another poke to the eye by Ellis. Are you kidding me? No, no, come on. Once again with the eyes. Wow, what? He just went through war. He went through war, Ricky. War. He's a war hero. I can't, I can't he's a, he's war a war hero. hero. He's, he's a, a war, war hero. hero. What are you talking? He went through war and he's a hero. I'm not going to take anything away from the brilliance of in ring ability. He brought a hell of a fight. The fact he's being Leo Rush Once That's again, he's Hat. used it by gouging his eyes the same as Ricky. he did. Oh, no, Ricky, 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 Get someone out here to look after him, please. He has gone through war. Take make, after make him. Make sure his dressing room is he's on his feet. with champagne. Well done, James Ellis. Celebrate with champagne. Yes. Look at him. The brilliance.
James Ellis, always holding the goal. has retained by hook and a bit by crook I have to say what was that eye gouging business about yeah that's exactly yeah, that's exactly what he did I'm glad you could do an impression of yeah, because that's what he did I don't suppose you condone that kind of behaviour do you right? no, well anyway he got past Leo Rush who was a surprise that was his own fault he's still world champion I'm not happy about it you, you're deliriously happy but I can see it look at your beady eyes look how happy you are about it the champ anyway well yeah the champ we still the champ but we move away now thankfully from James Ellis we are going to be talking about tag team action we know the tag team division is hotting up in this coming you still think about James Ellis we know we're happy with the tag team division that we have here in this company it's always been a great tradition of ours two more new tag teams coming out for you right now will you stop smiling the following contest is scheduled for one fall and it's a tag team match. Yeah. Introducing first. Well, Ricky, two tag teams we've never seen before in an IWM ring. Yes, we've seen one of the Bryants, but I'm telling you this, we haven't seen these guys. Bounty Hunters making their debut here for IWN. Oh, that's some hair. We've, we've seen that hair before with KM Lane. Well, many, actually, many, many, many you, years ago. I, I want to tell you a little story. KM Lane is an original, originally one of our academy graduates. Yes, he was. He came along. I remember him walking in. Exact was a little bit smaller. And he went, Billy, I want to be a pro wrestler. And years later, with training by Mike Bird at the Catch-22 Pro Wrestling School in Gravesend, here he is now, alongside Tommy Lawrence. The Bounty Hunters are here. It's part of that progression we've talked about earlier on in the broadcast, where he said, you know, Z-Force champion to world champion to superstar somewhere else. Karen Lane is on the first bar, that really, isn't he? Yeah. He's been the trainee, he now finds himself in the ring. Maybe future opportunities await him, or indeed Tommy Lawrence. Indeed, but they, and their opponents. They, they've got no small feet ahead of them. The Brian brothers are in the house. Nino and Xander. We've seen Nino before. We have. We saw him get his head smashed in by Levi Murr. Yeah. But with his younger brother, less hair, less hair, but 
they look alike. They, they definitely are brothers, aren't they? Um, they're not trying to trick us. You say they look alike? They look alike. Are they trying to trick they us? They are relatives, right? Oh, okay. Do you know many relatives that don't look alike? Yeah. I don't. I do. They just don't have the same dad. I think to do though. I know that because their dad's in the crowd. I won't, I won't point you out, but he's, their dad's in the crowd tonight, supporting these boys. And, uh, a big opportunity for them, really, on the IWA. Both of them. We currently don't have a tag team championship, but uh, you do imagine at some point if we do have one, this is a hell of an opportunity for both of these teams Absolutely to put themselves in that conversation. Absolutely, Ricky. More about that later. More about what later? Ooh. More about what later? Tag it's, team, it's wrestling. Another one of your, tag team wrestling. Another one of your surprises. Unbelievable. Here the show of sports was shared by KM Lane and Xander KM Lane. In the blue tights, Tommy Lawrence in the red and black trunks. He looks about seven feet tall with that hair. But Tommy Lawrence, he's six foot one. No, not he's Tommy, like, Tommy Lawrence is a big, I mean he's a big Lane. boy. Cam Lane, six foot as well. He looks cool. Both of the Bryans <laughs> giving up quite a bit of height. Both Nino and Xander around five foot seven. Over six feet, both Lawrence and Lane. What, a, what an opportunity for both of these teams. You know, continue to showcase the young up and coming talent in the UK in front of a crowd that we know has become electric tonight, but become known as a place that professional wrestlers want to wrestle. Yep, average age of 22. Wow, of them. like my that giant you know reminds me of the team I manage on a Sunday. We've got a young you on Sunday? We, will, we won't talk about that right now, okay. but but when you talk is about that the average James age, Ellis squad, is it? Hey, yeah, 20, is, 22 years of age there is good average. as James Ellis unbeaten in the league since last year Ricky oh, yeah. yeah guess what James Ellis is unbeaten in IWN too he actually is unbeaten yeah. I, I actually can't take that away Whoa! Oh, don't take your eyes off that crossbody from Nino Bryan very wise Xander trying to stop Tommy Lawrence from getting into break the count so that would have been very much it if Nino had held on there sure this is the wisest strategy suplexing a man when you're giving up weight and height and KM showing the power and showing the strength oh wow. and Lawrence gets knocked off the apron and the Bryants working very well as you would expect bearing in mind they are related makes perfect sense Both Nino and Xander. The roof just came off there, Ricky, for that. The Bryant brothers. Re reminiscent of London and Kendrick. Do you not think? I know. Yeah, do you know I what do. I mean? I know, I know exactly what you mean. You know. No, I do. Oh, KM Lane using his wits there to get out of the way. Oh, Hugh, what a drop kick. Huge, huge drop kick. By KM Lane. Near Brighton and Xander. Bright, both of them. Nine years in the business. Trained by Eddie Dennis, Connor Mills, Michael Oku. Very much in vogue at the moment. And David Francisco. Oku is, yeah. They're Come going to have to in. use uh, all of that. All of that know how. What a bomb! By Tommy Lawrence. Welcome to IWN. What an introduction that was. Tommy Lawrence, what a size that, that was, yeah, that was, that was a vicious power yeah. bomb. I like the look of Tommy Lawrence, I do. Oh, wait a minute, up they go. Barty Hunters, normally that electric chair positions the setup for the bounty device. Oh, wow. Stumbling, Cam Lane get to his tag team partner? Yes, he can. Beautiful work by both the Bryans to take down the bigger men. That's what they're going to have to do. Fully stacked up, Lawrence. Too much fight left in Lawrence. Too much height, too much power. Oh, Cam Lane's taken the bright bit, isn't it? So the Bryans have been very, very good at making sure that there's only one man in the ring or on the ring, full stop. Chemistry, Ricky. They are brothers, obviously. Absolutely, that's all we're saying. Trained together, trained by the same people. 
Almost same, a decade. Same no! dad. The same dad, and their dad won't be proud of that, that's for sure. Look at the state of them right now. Only 21 and 19 years of age, but almost 9 to 10 years they have been training in wrestling. What? Yeah. They were training since they were kids. Since they were kids. It's got to be illegal. No, oh, only 21 and 19 years of age. So Came nine later. and 11. Pretty much, yeah. I, that's my daughter's age, Ricky. That's good arithmetic, that. No, oh, Tate's gone right on the back of the head. Of Nino, who's covered a bit nonchalant. Took his time a bit too long there, KM Lane. Where's your apple? KM Lane does not like apples because apples are not cool. No. I'll tell you what it's called. Cool. That oh, tilt oh, world oh. backbreaker looked very cool indeed. Not going to be cool for your back, that's for sure. Once again, though, I have to say nonchalant cover. Didn't hook the leg. Not much pressure on the shoulders. You do wonder if they're looking past the Bryants a little bit. I think that's a mistake. As we've uh, mentioned, they're brothers. Yeah, yeah. So they're very uh, in simpatico. Look. Dangerous, dangerous combination you when you've got brothers it, in the ring. You mentioned earlier, Cam Lane and... Big Tommy Lawrence. They've got the size of Arnage here. They've got to slow this brother tag team down. That's exactly because what that they're doing. speed is exceptional. Oh! Oh! oh, no. oh no. Release him with a Uranogi! Uranogi! What's Lawrence thinking now? Is he is he gonna climb the ropes? What's he what is he thinking? Straight to the split like a moonshot, wow. Billy! Wow! Tommy Lawrence in one leap! Squashes Nino Bryant into wow. the canvas. What athleticism for a man over six feet tall! So we take anything away from KM Lane as well. Another hell of an athlete for his size. They really like the bonus here, don't they? They really do. I think they just brought into the family perspective of these two. Or is it because Nino, last time he was here, put up a valiant effort against the monster Levi Miller. Maybe he did. Maybe that's what they remembered. It might be the difference in the size. What a spinning Wilkie by KM Lane, though. Look at that. Look at that face. I mean, Look at that face. It's, it's hard not to root for the Bryants to some extent when you think that they're actually five foot seven. They're giving up, you know, about half a feet to both of these two. These are two giants, if we're being honest. Oh, headbutt. I believe that was the headbutt into the corner. Oh, Nino. Hatch. Get out of the way, Nino, Hatch. who's been in the ring for quite some time, really is going to have to make a tag to his brother at some point, otherwise this is going to be over very quickly. Follow up with the Bulldog, KM Lane. And the Bounty Hunters in complete control! Modification of the Lion Soul! And Nino, seconds away from defeat. Cam Lane, he couldn't quite make the cover. Tried to put the arm over, and Nino, using some of those years' experience to turn his body, prevent the cover from being made. Nino Tommy needs help. Yeah, Tommy Lawrence is in. Oh, Tommy Lawrence is in. Tommy Lawrence is now. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, Going for the bounty device. device. Oh, is that what's good? The, the bounty device. They're in the electric chair position. Nino's fighting. He wants to get out of there in a hurry. Cam Lane was waiting. Oh, head wow. from Nino. He's trying to fight them both at the same time. Best of luck. And he's doing it, though. He's doing it. Cam Lane's down. Make the tag, Nino. Nino. Be smart, Nino. Nino needs to make the tag. He's fighting Tommy Lawrence into the corner. I think this could be a mistake. Oh. Had an opportunity, a very brief window. Could have got the tag if he wanted to, I feel there, Billy. Beautiful by Nino Bryan taking both laid down and Lawrence down and now there's an opportunity as the crowd chant his name he needs to head the other way head the other way Nino Big you're going to here. the wrong corner you're going to the wrong corner Nino turn around he needs a trail leg attack he's oh he faced just fell backwards he fell backwards into the tag and here comes Sander Bryan the younger of the 20 19 years old 
full of fire there, Ricky. Full of fire. Catching Tommy Lawrence back. It's a scream from the younger brother. And Xander has got him going here in the Black Box Hastings. What a debut this would be for this young man if he could pull away these two six-foot great men. Oh, KM Lane put himself in harm's way. He's the cannibal sent down. At the same time, at the same time, there goes the legal man, KM Lane at the last second. At the last second, I think there might be an element of Lawrence getting the shoulder up there as well, but the Bryant suddenly have turned it around. They're going to try and finish things off here. There's the tag. Sander is legal, eats the knees now of Lawrence. Brave man, big fool. Nino made the tag. Oh, wow, Nino. Dies oh, a kick to Lawrence. Nino trying to get the crowd to will him and his brother to victory here. They're going to need everything they can get. It turns with assistance. Jude splash straight over for the cover. Hook selecting. KM Lane there once more. And once more, a little bit of fight left in the Bowie Hunters. The Bounty Hunters know what this could do for them. This tag team division in IWN is growing at a rapid pace. And it's there for the taking, it right? Is it is there for the taking. You know, he's trying to make the tag. Lawrence is stopping him from making the tag. Lawrence is preventing. Smart move. Very smart move, as, uh, as our commentary colleague Dean A.S. would say, you have to imagine a diagonal line in the middle of the ring, you've got to keep your opponent in it. And Tommy Lawrence did very well there to keep Nino away from his brother. Great psychology by Dean. Yeah, that's fake psychology. Oh. One-legged kick by Tommy Lawrence, taking both Bryants down by himself and his own feet. The electric chair position is up, KM Lane is there. Go for the bounty device! They wow. hit it! And Nino Bryan is flatlined by the bounty hunters! An impressive debut for them! Really impressive by Here both teams again. Showing, showing just how deep this tanking division is. And I am gonna I'm gonna break some news, Ricky. I feel like breaking You're some news. You're gonna break some news? Yeah, uh, look. Better I'll break give some respect. Some respect. Well, well done to KM Lane and Tommy Lawrence the Bowie Hunters with a huge victory here at All Road South. And Billy Wood has left the commentary position. We'll find out why shortly. Huge win for those men. Don't discount the effort of the Bryans. Pull up a hell of a fight. But today was not their day. The day belongs to the Bowie Hunters. Impressive debut for them. Surely you wonder if Reese and Rogue are going to be put on notice. They've been the ones who've been dominating this division since we've come back to Z Force Live. If they're watching, and I have a feeling they will be, they will surely relish the opportunity to get their end with the Bounty Hunters. Gentlemen, I'd like to congratulate all four, four of you really. You have shown tonight how deep this tag team division is. Let's give them a round of applause. And it feels like a great opportunity to talk about tag team wrestling. Two bright young tag teams, average age of 22, unreal. However, right now we do not have tag team champions. Oh, I think it's about time we do. So in May, we have our anniversary. Anniversary nine, and night two will be here. Night one will be in Northern Kings. <laughs> that week, we will have a tournament. We will have one 
semi-final match in Milton Keynes. One in Hastings. <laughs> and we will crown new IWN Tag Team Champions. And I've got some news for you. More news? Shit. The winners of tonight's match, the Bouncy Hunters, will be in the semi-final. Congratulations. <laughs> Huge news there from Billy Woods of the Bounty Hunters. Not only do they have an impressive debut, they are now in the tournament to crown IWN World Tag Team Champions. That is quite something. Huge bombshell chopped there by Billy Woods. Well, we move from the tag team division. We have just got word that we've just got word that at the moment that apparently backstage what? something has been kicking off what? between Haley J and Kira Kamira. No we go backstage, please. Okay. Listen here, Kira. I don't know who the fuck you thought you was playing with, but I'm Hollywood Haley J, and I don't play. And the soccer rocks is my weapon, not yours. And you think you're slick? I'm gonna be back for you, with title still in hand, bitch. Well, there you go. The challenge has been set. It's been laid down by oh, Haley J. She was attacked from behind, and she didn't like it, Billy. But Kira's not the well. Kira's not the number one contender, but she's now. She has somehow made in it by beating up the champion from behind. She somehow managed to pull it off. Hey, I don't know how she does it. I love the cojones of Hollywood Haley. Hollywood? Did I say Hollywood Haley J. I thought I said Hollywood. Same she thing. She's very bougie. Yeah, she's very, very bougie. She's very, very big time. Yeah. But in IWN, Hollywood Haley J is willing yeah. to defend her title. She's going to have to defend her against Kira Kamira, who somehow has got her back into this picture. I don't know how she's done it. But we move from that into, into our main of the evening then. It's the main of the evening. Get excited, because finally, overkill Mark Haskins is going to get his hands on Levi Muir, who, to be fair, deserves a kicking bay. Hey, I love Mark Haskins. Yep. I think Levi Muir is an absolute monster. I am afraid for our safety, the safety of the fans. This is going to be hot. This is going to be scary. This is going to be intense. This is a main event. You heard what Martin Haskins said yesterday, Milton Keynes. He wants Levi Muir, and you know if he goes for Levi Muir, he's coming after your boy James Ellis. Hey, let's not talk he's about He's coming for him right next. Let's, 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 let's just take him to ringside. Are you ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh, accompanied by James Ellis. Look at the size of him, Ricky. I say this all the time, but look at him. Six foot one, 230 pounds of muscle. The monster from London, who has been absolutely vital and instrumental in James Ellis remaining and becoming in the first place IWM world champion. But now the chickens may come home to roost all road south because wow. Mark Haskins has travelled down from Malvern in Worcestershire and he's looking for his pounds of flesh out of Ellis and first of all, Muir. Wow, wow, how intense is it out there? You can cut the atmosphere with a knife. Oh, I'll tell you what, you might be cutting more than that in a minute when Mark Haskins gets out here. He feels he was robbed from becoming the most numerous IWM world champion of all time. Currently tied on three with Martin Stone. He was almost four-time champion. He could have been. He he's is going to be though. chomping at the bit. He's yeah, not he's not. Moment. He's not, but he's going to be chomping he's at the bit because of what calm. happened. And Levi Muir, time. in my opinion, is the definitive reason Mark Haskins is not champion. And his opponent. 
Alice is saying, oh, El- Muir is sending Alice out saying he's okay. Come and, and he's fine. Me, champ. champ, come on. No. Champ. Not again. Champ. You've got to go champ. Oh, he's got this up in yesterday. Sit down next to me, relax. Relax, champ. Mark Haskins! Mark Haskins looks incredibly angry, and James Ellis, quite rightly so, looks incredibly nervous. Why? James Ellis is sat by us in the commentary position. James Ellis is hiding using Billy Wood. He's he's using Billy Wood as some kind of twin looking camouflage. He's he's just. He's just. He's not. He's just relaxing. But look how intense Mark Haskins Haskins is intense. Haskins wants blood. Oh Mark Haskins goodness. rightly intense and Levi Muir, Levi Muir knew the danger he was in by going straight for Haskins. Because of what Leo Rush did earlier, James Ellis is refusing to do colour commentary. He's refusing to yeah, do colour and, commentary. And, well and, hallelujah, light at the end of the tunnel. Levi like, Muir. I believe so. Go. Enjoy yourself, James Ellis champ. is at the bar, if you can Get believe this. Drink, Some sort of cheerleader behind the scenes for Levi Muir. And Mark Haskins gets his hands on Levi Muir and he's absolutely pummeling the native of London. And Mark Haskins looks at the IW World Champion. Oh, wow. The man he's saying he's watching him. The man that stopped him from becoming a four-time world champion is hiding here at the back. Oh. Oh. Haskins, what a reversal that was. Catches Levi Muir, takes him down to the canvas. And James Ellis, James Ellis saw the ring apron just as Haskins was going to lock in the sharpshooter. Well, we know how deadly that huh? is when he hits it. Do you mean oh, what? Oh, oh you sorry. again? No, oh, no. I tell you, you, you and your eyesight, Billy Woods. No, what? James Ellis went up and jumped on the apron. Did you not see that? It was right in front of you for a good 10 seconds. No, I was I was making sure that James's drink turned up at the bar. Oh, so. were you? Oh, yeah. oh I see. Six oh, shots so wow, back by Levi Muir. How is Mark oh. Askin supposed to contend with this monster in the ring? And the world champion of the Brits on the outside running back and forth. Running interference like he's doing. If anyone can rise to this occasion and can defeat the others, Mark Haskins. He didn't get to the position he has. He hasn't travelled the world, he hasn't won titles all over the world by being someone who can't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, Levi, Levi Muir shut me up as well. Levi Muir, very intense. As you'd expect him to need to be when he goes in there with Mark Haskins. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Mark Haskins is... Mark Haskins is, is... Mark Haskins is giving up like half a foot and a good 50, 60 pounds. Fear of Haskins here. But Mark Haskins, if anyone can rise to the occasion, it's him. If oh, anyone's wow. got it in the tank, it's Mark. 17 years in the business. Oh! The force of the experience to take on the odds and come out winning. James Ellis looks very unhappy. Mark Haskins with intent there on the arm of Levi Muir, this is why strategy, again that 17 years in the business affords him lots of insight into how to take down bigger opponents, it takes him all the way to the point where he knows if he can take out the arms he can't be lifted. What did he say? Where is he swimming? He's swimming in the ocean, slaying sharks. Exactly what he said. And we know he favours, we know he favours the bridging armbar just as much as the sharpshooter. So working over the arm is a good idea here for Haskins. These people remember what happened. They were here at the Super 8, they know what Levi Muir did. They know how he helped James Ellis become world champion. They know how Haskins was screwed and they want it just as much as he does. Haskins wants revenge, we know absolutely. that. Absolutely, and he deserves that. the revenge, Billy. That's well, the thing, he deserves it. After what Levi said about his wife. Yeah, absolutely. It's not James Ellis' fault though, is it? He can't Why? Control, can't control it. He was, he was with says. us on Conte yesterday, oh, it was a plan. And here's a plan for you. It's a suicide dive by Mark Haskins. And oh, Levi Muir no. crumbles. Crumbles against the wall here in the black box. 
all roads south. And they went south there in a hurry for Levi Muir. Oh no. Come on, he can't go on, Ricky. What can't go on? What's he doing? He's not hitting with a chair. That's fair game. What, you think because he's giving him a seat? It, he's taking a seat. What's wrong with that? How is that unfair? Oh wow. This is vintage Mark Haskins. Vintage Mark Haskins! And Levi Muir takes Levi Muir takes his shot from Haskins oh. and Haskins jumps on the bar! In celebration, wow. he came for revenge and Ellis, he points right in the eyes of the champion who looks terrified of Mark Haskins. Scarborough's counting, and then Haskins doesn't care. Haskins could care less about the count of Tom Scarborough. Jumps in to break the count, and jumps out to deal more damage. Mark Haskins. This is where Mark Haskins is the dangerous, most dangerous he can be. You knew he, this was going to happen. Uh, you, you, you know, know this Mark is Mark. You probably, know what Mark Haskins can do. Why but, didn't you warn James Ellis? Not, you seem to be buddy, buddy, pally, pally. I, Why didn't you warn him that this was Mark Haskins at his finest? I said it earlier I'll say it again vintage Mark Haskins no oh, he got clobbered clobbered that time by Muir <laughs> once bitten twice a shot uh oh this is this is where I worry for Haskins because in a brawl in that sort of fisticuffs with a big man like Levi Muir I don't think he can win that it's heavy, it's like, he's a super heavyweight there. Oh, oh. It doesn't matter how big you are, Billy, a boot to the face. It will change your whole world. And Mark Haskins this time runs always oh. the whole length of the black box. Feet right to Levi Bureau falls once again to the unforgiving floor here. Wow, Mark Haskins, this place is he on promised, him. he promised he was coming to swim. He was promised he was gonna capture. Surprise! Exactly what he's doing with Levi Muir. This was not enough, is it? Really? We know. No, Haskins it's not. Right. You know, Haskins. Haskins won't stop as he finishes the job. Chopping the much bigger Muir down. Going for the arm, but wants to get on the arm this time on that staging. Uh -oh. Haskins oh, has him. Wow. Has him on the steel steps. He is crushing the hand. And the arm, and the shoulder, and the bicep. He's going after all the parts oh, wow. that work the arm. Move, James Ellis. James Ellis James. running out of the way. Mark Haskins. I truly believe if Mark Haskins had them both in the ring, he'd try and get oh, both of oh. them. But for now, he's going to sell. He's just trying to down. rip the arm off of Levi Muir, smacking it into the post, challenging him whatever way he can. Before you know, he may look up on James Ellis once again. James Ellis, who, by the way, is not in this match. This is really brave. He does not have a manager's license, as far as I know. Why hasn't Tom Scarborough got rid of him? And now James Ellis is being chased around the black box by Mark Haskins. And Mark Haskins is in hot pursuit. And the brilliance, who's already defended the title twice tonight, runs the other side of the ring. Oh, oh it didn't no. work! And Mark Haskins oh, runs no. for Levi Muir! And once again, the chase is on. The world champion is running for his life here! Get out of the way, get out of the way, James, get out of the way. And he's back in the ring, and this oh. time Levi Muir catches him with an elbow, oh, and a no. second elbow! Ricky. And a third elbow to Mark Haskins, and that slows him down completely. Absolutely. Absolutely, Hastings. He looks shattered. Ricky. He looks shattered. He's just running around the black box. The thing is, he's going the wrong way. He should be going out towards the back of the black box. No. He he's... should be going out into Old Town at this point and heading towards the train station. where he should have run. What, Mark Haskins will find him. A bit late for a train to Swansea, Ricky. Mark Haskins will find him. There's a coach. National Express. You think I'm going to put the champion on the National Express? I'm not saying he always put himself on the National he Express. Off. He was the one running around. He thought he was in a carry-on film He's or a something. He's champion. Sit down, champ. Sit down. Oh, James Ellis is sat by us. Oh, now James Ellis puts a head on. Hello, world champion Ellis. Ricky, you, you look incredibly tired, sir. I've wrestled two matches tonight. One on the fly completely. I didn't even know Leo Rush was going to be alive. I didn't either. But this isn't about me. 
This is about the super athlete. Levi Moore and I helped him tonight. This is because he was not there. Mark Haskins should have break his arm on the yes, other side. This is about Mark Haskins. Stop about Levi, it's about Mark Haskins. I'm and what you did to him. And what you both did to him. Shut up, you jabroni. Yes, shut up. I'm going to tell you this once. But I'm going off comms then. You are an absolute jabroni. And the brilliance is in charge. While you're in. But Levi Moore, the super athlete. Correct. Correct. Thank you, champ. Thank you, champ. Relax, Thank you, champ. champ. Thank you, champ. Relax. No, the champ just ran 1,200 meters. As a distraction, so Mark Haskins would be distracted, so Levi Milk could take advantage. Where have I seen that before? Often I've seen that. You're biased, Ricky. I'm not biased. I've been very clear every time Levi Muir has been in the ring how much of a destructive force this man is, what kind of power he possesses. But he's aligned himself with a man who is not willing to do that. Well, this is old school, yeah! He is. Showing his training here, isn't he? Abdominal stretch is applied. Eight years in the business for Levi Muir, trained, of course, by Lance Storm, a technical wizard himself. And this is a power man's move. He's using all of that six foot one frame, all that weight advantage, to twist Mark Haskins, who's going to have to try and fight out of this. And he hip tosses Levi Muir. Breaks it, but how much damage has been done there? And the damage oh, wow. looks like it's going to continue. Torture rack position applied. Yeah. Levi Muir trying to break Mark Haskins in half. Mark Haskins obviously nowhere to go here, nowhere near the ropes. You know, right? How Levi, is Mark Haskins going to get out of this? You do know, Ricky, there's a little secret. Levi Muir was in Olympic contention. He was. For United Kingdom as a powerlifting champion. Yes, he was. Yeah. Look at that. Mark and, Haskins oh. is being twisted now. His spine, Vicky. his spine is almost bent. Look at the unnatural angle Vicky of the spine of Mark to, Haskins. Vicky's going to be furious yeah. if Mark Haskins doesn't get back in that car. The third down, the third down, the third down. No, Mark Haskins it almost dropped oh, three wow. times. How do you have done? Levi Muir would have won this. And I think Mark Haskins cares so much about winning as he does about destroying Levi Muir. Oh, The thing is, yes, well, I've got the brilliance next to me, but IWM world champion. But we know how much that belt does mean to Mark Haskins. And he knows he's got to go through the beast before he can get anywhere near the brilliance. But he shouldn't have had to. And that's been the whole point. This is the point. Mark Haskins should be in this position. The fact he's having to get this revenge off Levi Muir and the fact that that man is sitting on the end of our commentary desk is simply because of the fact they cheated him out of it. I'm surprised Mark Haskins had the patience to wait. I'm not. Haskins, we know one thing. Wow, wow. We know one thing with Mark Haskins. He has the fire in his belly. He is methodical when it comes to it. And he will do everything he can to get revenge. Absolutely. We saw him pull away those ghosts of Wembley. That took time, but he did it. And I'll tell you now, if he can get past Levi, you're here with a drop kick. He'll be coming for Ellis next. Make no doubt about it. This is All Road South. All Road South, an IWM presentation here at the Black Box in Hastings. You are witnessing the man christened Mr. IWN, Mark Hastings, in the fight of his life here against Levi Muir. The man who arguably cost him the World Championship at the expense oh, of James wow, Ellis. That's it. that's it. That's it. Over for the cover, hooks the leg. Two. The James Ellis leaves the current index momentarily. Oh, yeah, oh you missed yeah. it. You, you oh. missed a person. He's right next to you. How I'm could sorry, you I was not see him? on the action. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Now you can see the ring. Yeah. So I was focused. I'm doing my job, Ricky. You do your job. Yes. Now you, you do your job very sporadically, it must be said. It must be said. Yeah, sit next to Dean and Hess, would you? No. Or yes, someone yes, else? Yes, I would. I wouldn't have right. to stick to Dean Who Ayan. else would you like to sit next to? Did Dean Ayan at least offers me a cup of tea now and again? You don't deserve it. Uh, oh, wow, look at it. Mark Haskins. Cups of tea, he's put firmly down. Two feet almost dropping into Levi Muir, who was wise to it. Picks up Haskins. Oh, and drops it with a side slam. Middle of the ring. Haskins looks like he could be out here. No! Oh, shoots the shoulder. Ricky, just, just why James Ayan doesn't sit next to me. If Levi Murr beats Mark Haskins, does that put him close to being oh near the world championship? Hey, if you want to book, if you want to book Levi Murr versus James Ellis, if Haskins is win, that's fine by me. Oh, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying does it? 
But I'm saying that's yeah, I think that's a perfectly good idea, Billy. Well done. Book it. Book leave on your destroying James Ellis if that happens. Not a problem. No T comment. No taste comment. his own medicine. No comment. Martin Haskins will certainly have something to say about that. Oh, Levi Mill, oh, he's going, oh, going back for the torture rack. Oh, wow. Going back, this almost put Haskins out. Minutes ago, wow. working over the spine once again. And once again, Mark Haskins, what do you do if you're Mark Haskins in this position? Flips his way out of it. Has him done, has the legs, has the legs hooked. Oh, Not wow, both look. the bridge of armor, he's going for the sharpshooter. Can he get him over? Can he get him over? He's a much bigger man. And Mark Haskins, Millering, sits out the sharpshooter. Sits out from James Ellis, the world champion. Get down from there. Get him down from there. Mark Haskins with the sharpshooter. Has me a bang to right to Ellis. Once again in the face of Haskins, distracting him. times in this contest are we going to have James Ellis to get this close to Haskins and keep the strike him? Oh, the bow! Uh, he uh, went in, Mark Haskins with the bow! He hit you! He hit you right on the skull! Haskins right to the temple! Right what? to the temple of you! I think what? he's going to knock him out there, Billy! What? Two! James Ellis has cost oh, Levi Muir you this match! And as we head there for it, anniversary nine territory, Billy Woods, Levi Muir has been cost this contest by the world champion James Ellis. What a sense of irony that one is. Next stop for Mark Haskins. Could it be his full reign as world champion? He certainly deserves it. You said, would Muir be in line for a world title opportunity? You have to say, Haskins is now the one who is the next contender for the championship? He has to be. Ricky, I can't deny it. Mark Haskins, throughout our history, has been so important. Tonight, he puts himself straight in that frame. Rolling in to anniversary night. Are we looking at our next world champion? I think we could be four times the king. Is it going to be Haskins this time again?